Savage Gaming 68 back with another video today and I decided to do something different today so recently I've been uploading my videos non-stop and I've been editing them and I've made thumbnails and a bunch of other things and I kind of figured I wanted to show you how I edit these videos because I know there's people out there in the world that want to edit videos or be content creators but the problem is they don't have an app to use to edit on their phones. Now, the reason why I say my phone is because that's where I put all my content and edit. And on the internet, they have apps such as Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, a bunch of all those stuff. That's if you want to create content while you're on like a computer or even a Chromebook. But I have been creating content through my phone some videos have been through my phone some videos have been through pc but the recent videos that i posted were from my phone now there is an app on on the uh google play store called kind master which is the app that i use and it's all free and it's a very good app because it helps you create content create videos help you edit you can do Pretty much anything from thumbnails all the way to like face swaps, even make an image be brighter or even darker. The sky is the limit. You can pretty much do anything in that. And pretty much the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that everyone does not want to pay money for apps and everything. And if you're on like let's say a trip or you're just recording videos out of nowhere and you want to edit them, make it cool, make some like funny subtitles, then this is going to be a video for you. So without further ado, I will show you what Kind Master is all about. And don't worry, this is not a sponsored video, but if Kind Master wants to sponsor me, let me know. I will... Talk about Kind Master all you want. Well, yeah. So, let's get to the video. We are here on the Kind Master app. And this is pretty much the app that I'm talking about where you can edit videos and do a bunch of things to help create amazing or even funny videos of your choosing. So, as you can see right here, all these videos that are up on the, all these videos that are right here are just some of the projects that I've been working on. And when you edit and even, ugh, tongue twisted today, my brain is not working today. So when you edit videos and everything, it'll show up right here in these little boxes. show up in these little boxes and then even if you're not done with the video editing it will still save so all the work that you have been doing will be saved right here you can also make an account if you want right there me is savage gamer 68 and then go to create you can upload so all the projects that you've done will be right here so for you guys, I would say, because you guys watching are brand new to this app, some of you may not be, but some of you may be, this is probably going to be a good video for you. So let's get started with the new project. Now it's going to give you some aspect ratios that you can decide. Now if you're making a video, let's say for YouTube, or even for just a regular video, I would recommend using 16 by 9 only because it helps you and 
it also is pretty much a ratio that would be similar to the phone. And if you use this ratio, you can create thumbnails that you can post. So let's get started with 19.9. So if you look right here, these, this is what the main screen would look like. Now it won't look like this. Well, no one. That was, that was something that was just, it showed up. So this is the main screen. This is what you would be seeing if you edit any type of content or any type of video that you want. So. It's a lot of buttons and everything, so to, I will show you around Kind Master and give you a little detail of what this looks like. So, in order for us to do that, the reason why I can't press anything or any edits is because we do not have any footage or any um, assets to start editing on. So what we want to do is, there's a button right here on this right side of the thing, right side of the actual app, there's something called media. So what you would do is you press it, this screen pops up, so that was the screen that you saw from the beginning. You would go, you would have different options, you would have image assets, which is just pretty much just images that you can have as the main media. You can put also videos, which would be right here. Just some of the videos that you can find from the asset store in the app or even some of your own. So these are just some of the video assets that I've been using. Explosions, fire, whole bunch of good stuff. Now the favorites, I don't have any favorites only because I didn't mark any of my favorites, but if you like an edit or you even like an effect or image or video asset, you can favorite it and it would be saved right here. So let's start for a shot. Let's do image assets. Let's just put a black screen right now. So black screen right here, we have it. There's nothing really on here. So, we're going to create more things. Now, if you see on the right side that big circle where it's got media layer, record, and audio, that all three of those buttons lit up only because you have an asset that is available. If you don't have an asset, let's say we delete this right here, delete that, the three icons would go and disappear which if you see that that just means that you don't have any assets or anything like that on the actual editing app so what we're going to do is image assets and we're going to run through each of the assets to make sure that you are comfortable and understand each of them so the first one we're going to do is layer now layer has a bunch of things to it this is this is the button and icon you would use to edit your videos add effects a bunch of other things to help make your content become better or even have goofy funny videos or something like that so we're going to go through each of them. Media. So there's two media buttons. There's media one, which is right here, this thing. And there's also media two, which is this thing. It's the same exact thing, but here's the thing. This right here would be the base. This would be the basis of your video content. So let's say we make, we put the slot sidebar right here on the four minutes, four seconds. We stick a video, let's just say we stick a picture. We basically put this one right here. So it's my face. So you can see that it's zoomed in. So what we want to do is just zoom it out really quick so that you can understand what it is. Okay, never mind. I have to 
do that. So pretty much media that this button media button would have it go across the sidebar. So you can see that we have black video and then we have our face. Now, if you want to add extra things into the bar, into this black, oh, my voice is so, it's so crazy. Okay. If you want to have it to where you can edit and add more videos, you would go to layer.media. So we'll take the same picture right here and boom, we have it on top of the layer. Now you can adjust how long you want it to be. You can make it one second to where it just goes and then disappears. And you could even make it go until the end. Now, if you look right here, reason why the end of the image or video that you added is, is gray or black and not as transparent is because you don't have any more footage as the basis. So this footage right here, you would have to extend it or you could even shorten this to be able to be shown in the video. So if we, let's just say we do that, you can see how it highlights, it highlights right over. That means that you're adding more effects and more time towards the video which you definitely want, depending on which type of video or type of edits that you want to add in. So, we can go on to the next one, which is effects. Now, there are plenty of effects that you can use. So, if you look right here, now, you can see that they give you an option. Now, the pinch and bulge one is basically something that I took from the asset store and some of the assets in the actual store are free. Some of them you have to pay for, but 90% of them are all free. So you're going to have a blast and have some fun time with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at basic, basic effects and they give you two effects. They give you blur and they give you mosaic. So you can just make it to where your whole image is blurred. And then you could even have it go to where some sections are blurred. But those are just the standard effects that KindMaster has. So we can delete that. So if you have any effects, like let's say you want to have the image with lightning. Or do you want to have the image with water? Or even something crazy that you want you would go to the asset store. And just to show you, we'll go to the asset store right now. So this is the asset store that you can use to download content. They have a bunch of icons right here. So whatever you want to use in your video, you can pretty much use it for free. So as you look right now, all these assets right here are free. This is an ad. So let's go through it. New, it shows you like what new at assets are available, everything. Now right here, just to give you a heads up, if it says premium at any of the images, it means that you have to pay for it, which you probably don't want to do. And if you find an effect that you really love, but it's premium, there's a probably a good chance that you'll find a similar one that's free. And I recommend going for the free one because no one wants to pay money to edit. So, yeah, go for the, the ones that don't seek premium. So we have FX. This is all your effects. You have blur, you have color, distortion, glitch, lens, mask, noise, transformations whatever you want. So you can have your image turn into fire or even swirl. You can have pinch and bulge. You can have pop out ripples. You can do whatever you want. You can make your thing into a glitch, like a video game. The sky's the limit. Everything is, is pretty much up to you. 
you have right here transitions. So if you want to transition to another video or even an image, they have transitions right here. So they have hearts, they have yellow tape, soccer balls, particle walls, they have graphics. Everything is pretty much here for you. They have in cash. If you want to make it rain money in your video, you can. Now, stickers, I haven't gotten to this yet, but stickers are pretty much what you are like the, the uh, add-ons for your videos. So if you want to add like a text box or something, or even let's look, you want to add an emoji or if you want to add a specific uh, image to another image, you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that right after this asset store. They also, um, the asset store also has free music. So you can pretty much download any music that you want. I would say if you're making a video just for yourself, you can use any of these musics. But if you're adding to YouTube, I would say make sure it's not copyrighted because and it, because then eventually you'll get like you'll get a warning saying that the video or audio was copyrighted. And a good way to figure out how to to understand this is when you go to upload a video on YouTube, it will pretty much say that your video is uploading and that it's processing. When this is done, if you have a PC or even like a computer, you can go into the YouTube channel, go and if you go to the YouTube channel, it will give you an option to either manage analytics or manage videos if you press manage videos it will give you all the videos that you've created if you go, if you look at the left hand side of the screen it'll give you a bunch of options like you want to do subscriptions you want to do library if you go to audio library there'll be an option for that on the left side of the screen that's just pretty much a library with free music and free sound effects that you can use which will not be copyrighted because those are all YouTube assets. And to give you a shot, we have some music right here. So we can have either Comfort. Why did I download that? Never mind. You can download them. It just takes like, it gives you like a certain amount of megabytes or gigabytes. Depending on the assets, you can have... Some assets that are big, some assets that are small, but we can go. So what I was trying to do is was play it for you. So we can play. You can see that it plays. We could even go for something that's cinematic. We can go to Before Dawn. <laughs> And these are all free, by the way, so you can download every music. They have everything from electronic, hip-hop, holiday, new age, pop, rock, all of the things that you want. So the next icon is sound effects. So this is what you, pretty much what you, you can do to add in. If there's like a spicy part of your video that you want to add a certain sound effect in, you can. So we can have... Like a train, like if you want to have a train running in the back of your video. Or even have footsteps to make the video or sound more intense. You can pretty much do anything. And these are all free, by the way. These are all... There's nothing... I mean, I haven't seen from these assets any of them that are made to have you purchase them. They're all free so far. So, yeah. So, the next one is clip graphics. So, this is going to be pretty much any added effects that you want for your video. So you can have it to where your intro 
or even your outro can be like you can have it as a movie scene so if you want we can watch it so so as you can see right there you can have it to where some videos can look or even images can look different you can make it look like a photo look like if someone actually really took it anything that you want now the funny one right here this is where I, magic can happen right here is the videos now this this asset store gives you free videos that you can use for pretty much anything so you can make it to where the door is opened make ocean waves if you want to do like a beach scene laptop mock-up where you can actually make your video footage or even image be right there you can make a spooky night if you're into halloween asteroids flying wavy water spotlights anything that you want the next asset let's see how much time we've been recording for 18 minutes dang that's a lot of time but we're gonna be it's gonna be a short video next one is images if you have any images of yourself or even off the internet you can do that some of these images right here are just for you to use so you have color glitch swatches drawings checkerboards anything that you want and then the last one is pretty much just fonts so if you want to have like cursive font or if you want to have like something that's eye catching or even bold you could download it they give you handwriting so right there you can see it's like script or even cursive style script throw up i don't know why that's a throw up but yeah so that's pretty much that was pretty much just small little view of what the asset store can hold for you let's try and finish and i'll give you a final tour of the rest of the app so layer effects you've already saw that it's any effect that you want to add towards your video the next one that we're going to look at is stickers stickers is pretty much just all the images or even emojis that you want to add so if we look at it and even the asset store has some stickers that you want so let's say right here it gives you a bunch of options these are ones that i just downloaded but when you open it up it will be a blank except you will get the um classic stickers that would be the one that you can have right away the rest of them that are here are just ones i've downloaded so if you want you can have it to where your care your your uh, video is you could to make it where you can have a person having a hat right there that's uneven but you can have a person wearing a hat and if you want you can even go more advanced to where you can have your person breathing fire so we can go right here look at firepower and Right here, you can see that it's going. Right there. So, now, in order for us to be able to see it, since it's a split second, you're going to have to extend it. St extend the uh, sticker emoji on the bottom. So, if we look right now, my character is breathing fire. <laughs> very sorry for for that moms was calling me and everything so where were we we were continuing about the firepower so if you can see right here firepower can only go for like a second if you don't want that and would like let, let's say you want a screenshot or you can even add or if you want to have it last longer you can just cut it right here Cut that. You can just cut it a few times. And then have it breathe more fire. So you can have it there. 
constantly breathing fire. But we'll pretty much get into it, get more into the icons and the editing later in the other videos that I'll be making. So that was just a small little preview. So next icon is text. You can pretty much just type anything. Let, let's say Monday Madness. I can't even spell today. Monday Madness. You can have it big. You can have it small. It's up to you. So right there we have it to where we're breathing fire. Monday Madness. It's pretty much anything that you want to do. And then the last icon is handwriting. You can just free write it, but I would. Why would you want to free write it if you have text? If you have, te I mean, if you want to do like your initials or something like that, you can to your video. But I would just recommend using the text because, well, you can just type it, and it's not really anything to worry about. So the other two buttons. So after seeing the ancestor and after seeing the layer and media. We're down to the last two. So we have audio right here. This is pretty much if you download any sound effects or any uh, music in the actual, uh, like from certain apps or even YouTube, you can add it here. So if we look, you have music. This is just the random, this, the, this is the standard music that you, the, the uh, uh, my tongue twist on. This is the app. This is the musics that Kindmaster just gives to you for free. So this is just some of the music right here that they have. Halloween party, how come? These are all the sound effects. So if you download any sound effects from the asset store, you can use them here. Recorded. This is just any, like if you look back right here, where it says record on the bottom of media right here. Can actually read the so we can use our recorded sounds or audio for that songs this is pretty much anything that you've downloaded from YouTube or even sound effects that I've done so I've done a few me few sound effects free few musics that I've used in my videos, albums, these are just whatever you've had downloaded or even set on your phone, artists, it just gives you the artists in order of what the music is, genres, just gives you the description of some of the genres, folders, this is just some of the stuff that can be found from your phone and then once you're so let's say right here we want to add music so we're gonna go right here we're gonna stick some some random music we'll stick just videos. so let's just add it right here so let's go songs it'll give you the option to before you put so let's put some 69 bronco we have it here oh handwriting you can delete that you can move it too if you hold up if you hold down on the actual uh icon you can move it so right here we have breathing fire so pretty much it's anything that you put your mind to it. So let's say, let, let's say right here, we're done with the video, right? We're, we, we are done. We have edited the whole video. We are happy with it. We can do something what's called an export. Now, 
In Kind Master, about three years ago, it was a different format. Now that it was updated over time, I can show you how to export it. So, right here on the top right of the side of the screen where it has a little square box and an arrow, you would press that. And what this is, is this is pretty much the exporting. So it says save and share. This is just the video exporting. So they give you a bunch of resolutions, some frame rates. This just tells you how you want the video to look forward. And my recommended setting that I always use is 1080p and 30. That's just like the standard computer uh, video output. And you can also have it for your phone. I would not put the quality HD 1440 only because it's like it's pretty much like 4k i mean if you want to have a good very amazing edited video with high quality you can use that the only thing is i've used this setting maybe like once and the video footage was not like downloading or exporting correctly so you would i would recommend just using 1080p 30. Now some phones have different resolution or even different ways of outputting so I would say it just depends on what type of phone you're using. So let's go right here. We're, we're happy with the video. Save video as and it'll give you this right here. This Kind Master Premium. You don't want to press anything. You don't want to press annual. You don't want to press monthly or continue. You just press skip and then it starts saving. You export it, and after you press save and share, you finally have your project that you've made and designed. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful, because I want to help other people be able to create content and create funny things for themselves and for others. So if you liked the video and liked what, the, what you see, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be posting pretty much this week more tutorial videos for you to watch and be able to edit whatever you want. So the next video that I'll be making will just be a small tutorial on how to make a thumbnail through Kai Master. So just remember to stay savage, stay a gamer, and I hope this, you found this video to be helpful.